My name is Tom Sorrell. I'm a professor at the University of Birmingham in the UK. I'm coordinator of the Detector Project. Uh, the Detector Project um, has been running for about three years. It's a project that looks at the ethics and human rights implications of the use of detection technologies in counterterrorism. So we're very interested in uh, the, the way that uh, legislation has changed in order to permit detection technologies to be used by the police and by intelligence services. And we're interested in the ethical issues that arise when these detection technologies are used by different kinds of police forces in different contexts. We've looked at body scanning, we've looked at explosives detection, we've looked at the use of closed circuit television cameras, we've looked at internet monitoring, bugging, all kinds of audio surveillance of people. All of these raise issues that have been taken up in the project. We're uh, worried about detection technologies that um, are directed at people in the first place as opposed to being directed at things. A general principle that we have is that uh, detection technologies should be used proportionately, and proportionately means is the degree of intrusion justified by the seriousness of the offense? What exactly is the person suspected of doing? Could the same information that is got by secret detection technology use be got by some other uh, means? If it's possible to get it by some other means, that's the means it should be used. We have uh, some evidence that people are willing to submit to, these, uh, to greater scrutiny and greater surveillance since 9-11. Uh, we think that citizens' views about the permissibility of counter-terrorist intrusion and counter-terrorist inconvenience, we think these views uh, shift according as there's been a terrorist attack or not. European lawmakers may indeed find it difficult to uh, sensitize legislation to ethics and human rights considerations. One reason is that uh, the uh, different populations in different European countries have different attitudes about these things. Uh, it's also because there are different political settlements within different countries that make it difficult for um, governments either to be more liberal or less liberal. In our future research, we're going to move away from counter-terrorism and look at serious crime in general. We think that there are many, many uh, interesting issues that arise when counter-terrorism is put in the context of serious crime. To give an example, most people don't have any worries about intrusion in relation to the fight against pedophilia, but many of those people have worries in relation to intrusion in counter-terrorism.